Hi everyone, I'm Coact and I have some uh, important news for you guys. Well, we are nearing the end of the Los Santos area, which is why we basically only have one mission left, and uh, that's uh, one of Sweet's missions. Um, yeah. So, as I've promised, uh, I was going to do some... Uh, where is my prostitute of a girlfriend? Okay. Uh, so, as I've promised, um, I, I wanted to do some uh, paramedic missions and some uh, vigilante missions. Hey there! Hey, what's up, baby? Take me for a drive, player! Okay, let's oh, go! a drive, huh? Well, let's get in this uh, vehicle. It's a police officer! How did he know that this is not my ride? Is it because it's not pimped up enough? Anyway... Oh! How's that for fun, huh? Whoops. <laughs> so, as I was saying, there's only one mission left. Oh man, <laughs> I can't believe this, but... Well, to be honest... Uh, and to be fair, uh, there have been uh, about 50 parts of this Let's Play so far, so... That's... That's more than uh, any Let's Play that I've done so far, which... Uh, considering the fact that um, most of the episodes, or most of the parts, were uh, over 15 minutes long, is quite an achievement. So, after I finish with this girl... I will go and do one of the paramedic missions. Well, actually, there's only one mission. You basically have to uh, drive injured people around. What happened with that guy? Why did he just uh, turn to the left and hit me? There was, like, no intersection, no... no. Well, anyway. Uh, so... Oh, I get it. He uh, wanted to go uh, and park there. Like that guy just did. Anyway. Oh, I was so close to fling that. Okay. And, um. Doing these paramedic missions will help me increase the life bar. Coffee? Oh, look at this. Um, yeah, the life bar will increase by 50% for doing the paramedic missions. Um, I don't know if it's 50% more than what I have currently or 50% more than what I had at the beginning of the game. But I have a feeling it's 50% more than I had at the beginning of the game. Anyway, it, it will be very helpful. For uh, for the remaining uh, cities, you know, because uh, this is a very long game, and we're just in the first city. Now, normally, what they deal with uh, the Grand Theft Auto games is uh, they would take a city and they would split it up into um, three parts each divided by a bridge or something uh, that cannot be crossed at the beginning of the game and then wait a second there's a house for sale over here hmm let's see how much does it cost only 10,000 well Yeah! Nobody shoot CJ. Unless it's a girl. So? Ambulance? No? I'm currently looking for an ambulance because I'm going to take it and uh, do the paramedic missions. Hey, don't, don't be pushing my car, dude.
So I wanted to go on a, a date with Denise because this might take a while. A couple of in-day games. In-game days. <laughs> so... Wait a second. Wait a second. Uh, there's an ambulance somewhere around here. A hospital, to be more precise. First off. Mm. Yeah. I shouldn't be needing uh, armor during these uh, paramedic missions, or during the paramedic mission, because... Um, there's no real danger to my health. What is this? Okay. I don't remember this place. Or maybe... No, I still don't remember it. Okay. Oh man, look at that. Progress with Denise is going down again, and I just had a date with her, like, hours ago. But anyway... There are a few hospitals in uh, each city, and uh, if I'm not mistaken, there is a, a hospital or... Well... Something to get food in each uh, village, which is why um, basically when you're around uh, well, or near a hospital, and you will start the missions, the paramedic missions, you will be stuck to that particular area for doing the missions. So um, I know a pretty good area in this uh, city, which is, uh, which has wide roads and, uh, well, this is pretty much the area, it has wide roads and uh, it has um, plenty of space for maneuvers and uh, stuff like that. Whoops! Whoops! Come on, ambulance? Why is there no ambulance? I just ran over two people. <laughs> oh, yes. Well... Oh, a VIP. Okay. I have a vague recollection of a hospital around here somewhere. Not entirely sure where. Somewhere around here. Yes, 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 yes. This is it. Okay, guys. Whew. Let's start this. Wish me luck. We need to do 12 levels. Press 2. Mr. Copper, get out of the damn way. So this is uh, level 1. And uh, with each level that you complete, you get more seconds on the timer. Damn it, look. Oh man, this was a awful place to park my car. And um, with each level, you will have um, an additional one patient that you will need to rescue. Come on, old lady. See, so... Uh, oh, damn it. No. 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 Come on, CJ. Damn it. Okay, okay, this was a complete failure. And I was just about to say that uh, the roads are so wide here. And uh, this is what happens. You get out of the ambulance just once. 
and the entire mission is is over. Okay. But this is totally worth it, in my opinion. It's worth doing because, as you have seen many times during my Let's Play, there are numerous uh, times when um, when I almost ran out of health and I was just... and I had only like one last line of uh, health remaining. Now the cops are after me. But it doesn't matter, it's just uh, level one. I mean, one star. Okay. Shoot. Well, luckily, <laughs> it didn't raise my wanted level. And also, luckily, all of my patients are in this area, in this general area. Leave me alone, coppers. Can't you see I'm trying to uh, rescue some people? There's a police bribe somewhere around here. Hey, I got an appointment, Nikki. Don't run away. Damn cop. Okay, come on. Come on. Good. Ambulance fall, which is uh, not surprising. Yeah, so this is where I uh, used to do my ambulance mission. This general area. There are probably better areas in the game, maybe in other cities, but this one is easy enough. Come on, woman. I hear a police officer. Now, after I pick this guy up, I'm going to have to go and drop these people because the ambulance is full. Oh, also, if you run over a patient, it's mission over once again. So basically, there are a number of different things that you have to be careful. So you can't get out of the ambulance, you can't run over people, you can't let the timer run out. And, of course, you can't get arrested or... Or, um... You can't, uh, Explode while in the ambulance. Or rather, you can't let the ambulance explode while you're in it. Now, I'm not entirely sure about this. But I think it's possible to repair the ambulance if we go into one of the uh... oh apparently we can't so we have to do all this mission with the same ambulance which I turned uh, over its head at the beginning well, at least the police uh, left me alone now. Well, I had to get that pole out of the way eventually, so better now than never. Or better now than later. Well, that one didn't uh, require getting out of the way! There have been many times when uh, <laughs> I have failed a paramedic mission for running over one of the patients. Because here's the thing, when, they, when, when you approach them, they see your car and they try to run towards it. But if you have too high of a speed, then, well, I don't have to tell you what's going to happen. 
so you have to be very careful when you park next to them. <laughs> yeah, rescuing some people, injuring other people, it's... It's all in, um, in the manual. The paramedic manual. <laughs> if there is such a thing. I wouldn't be surprised if there was. Okay, the patient is on the right side. Right here. So I'm beginning to... To get more time. That's the thing, you know, at the beginning you uh, don't get too much time because most of the of the victims are clustered in, um, in the same street for most of the time. But once they start spreading out further and further away from the hospital, you will get more and more seconds. But of course you will, uh, you will be able to... Um, drive faster than those seconds uh, dissipate, so you will actually start accumulating some time. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if uh, by the end of the paramedic mission I would have, uh, I don't know, about five minutes or so. Although, <laughs> it seems like the patients are trying to uh, contradict me. Oh, driving skill. That's nice. Come on, guy. Look look at how, how much they're bleeding. I mean, they should be dead. Oh, well. So at level 6, I have exactly 6 persons to uh, take back to the hospital. Which means that I have exactly two full ambulances and uh, starting from, from level 7 I'll have to make three trips to uh, the hospital oh man there's a mosquito trying to uh, bug me pardon the pun come on mr. taxi dude oh! Another police officer killed. Or at the very least, injured. Anyway. Oh! A graffiti. <laughs> you thought I was going to go um, and tag it, huh? Well, not yet. Not yet. Come on, Mr. Police Officer, it's... Oh, shoot, see? They just run into the ambulance. Anyway. Let's not stick around too much, I heard a cop. See, those people just... They jump in front of the ambulance. I mean, I know that the producers actually try to make them... Oh, and the... Skyscrapers just appeared out of nowhere. I know that the producers tried to make them... Uh, um, try to avoid the cars and jump out of the way of the cars, but this just isn't uh, right. Okay. Oh, I'm also getting paid for this. Uh, I forgot to mention. And, of course, uh, the higher uh, the level, the more money you get. Okay, I'm gonna... Oh, I'm just at level 7 and although it seems that I'm halfway done, it's not true because uh, as I've mentioned, uh, with each passing level you get one more uh, patient that you need to rescue, so the last level, at the last level I'll, I will have to rescue 12 people which would be like the first about four and something levels combined 
also I have to start carefully planning my routes because I, I want to uh, get the people in the most optimum route possible. Police is no longer chasing me, which is awesome. Now I'm thinking of... Damn police officers. I'm thinking of doing uh, the um, vigilante missions too. Which is uh, basically the cop levels. The cop uh, mission. Going into a cop car and apprehending the bad people. But you see, the problem with that is that... Oh, crap. I took the wrong way. The problem with that is that... In order to stop those people... You actually need to uh, shoot at their cars, at their vehicles. And when they get out of the cars, they will also start shooting at you. So that's uh, really not, not nice. Wait a second, two seats free and I only see two more arrows. There's something wrong here, very, very wrong. But anyway... Most of the times the locations will be uh, similar, so now that I got that guy from under the bridge, the next time I see uh, an arrow in that general area, it should be in the same spot. Oh, okay, now I see there's another guy. I mean, there are two more guys in front of me, but I didn't see one of them because the arrows were too close. Let's go after the one that is further away. Oh, come on, dude. How did you get injured in here? <laughs> Sorry, dude. I mean, woman. The ambulance is full. I think she was a star or something. She was dressed quite nice. She had a nice white dress and... Ooh. Kick it out. Doesn't matter if you uh, run over them once they're out of the uh, out of the ambulance because <laughs> you've rescued them. The game just uh, accounts for uh, you taking them in front of the hospital. Come on. Come on. I'm going to call her Bloody Mary. Oh, I'm starting to run low on time. Hmm? I'm going to have to make three trips in the next uh, level. Come on, get out. Okay. Oh man. Oh crap. Oh crappity crap crap crap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on man, get in. idiot getting injured there and well the least he could do was to uh, get near the well the road so I can uh, pick him up easier I mean you'd expect him to do that right he's waiting for an ambulance Okay, we are doing fine so far, at least uh, as far as uh, the time is going. It could be better, but I, I'm not complaining yet.
Okay, 45 seconds. That's a good amount of time. So these missions are quite long. The paramedic, the vigilante, the firefighter missions. But at least uh, with the vigilante missions you can uh, you can switch cars. So for example, if uh, your police car, because you have to be in a police car, catches a fire, you have about um, 60 seconds to find another police car or get back into the same car if it's uh, still running and you will not fail the mission as long as you will find another police car and enter it in uh, 60 seconds but with the paramedic missions this is uh, not the case and I think it's the same with the firefighter missions too I'm not entirely sure, so don't quote me on this one. And I'm sure that uh, somebody will uh, correct me if I'm wrong. But the thing is, uh, I'm, I'm not using uh, walkthroughs. I, uh, I haven't re read any walkthroughs for uh, th these missions, for any of the missions in the game the story missions or the side missions because I like to do everything and uh, find out discover strategies on my own okay so one more trip to uh oh again with the with the Disappearing skyscrapers and the reappearing of the skyscrapers. And the vigilante missions are also harder because once you, uh, or well, that police officer just walked past me. Anyway, uh, what was I saying? The vigilante missions are harder because, um, as I've mentioned, you have to chase suspects and they are uh, driving their cars and you have to make them stop now pretty much the only way to make them stop is to either explode their car or, uh, or have them uh, um, or have the car um, turn upside down oh boy and after that, after that, you you also have to chase down the suspects, and that sounds uh, easier than it is because, well, the suspects each have uh, weapons, and. Um, they uh, tend to run off in different directions so you'll have a harder time capturing them almost uh, past the uh, hospital there good <laughs> come on It's also possible for the uh, other guys participating in the traffic to run over the civilians, in which case I think you also failed the mission. I don't want to find out though. There's a police bribe over here. Whoa. Whoops. Yeah. <laughs> this ambulance has seen its fair share of accident. Whoa. Mm. 
Oh boy. Oh boy. Now let's see if we can figure this thing out. This is where you can get um, a firefighter truck. It's also possible to get one if you set things on fire and uh, one arrives at the scene. And the uh, firefighter missions are also pretty tough because you have to put out cars at least they're stationary, but after that, the passengers get out and they are still on fire for some reason. And you have to um, put them out too. It's weird, but it's true. And they also tend to run off in different directions. Only three more levels left to go, but they are the hardest levels, obviously. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> I was afraid that blue car would run over my guy. Sorry, old man. Oh well, I'll go back and pick him up. Oh no, 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 no. I'm gonna have an accident if I go that way. Probably tumble with uh, the ambulance. And we wouldn't want that now, would we? Oh, the timer is going down. But I'm still not, uh, not too worried. Yet. Okay. I'm I'm really happy that uh, there's no smoke coming out of the ambulance yet. That's a good sign. <laughs> and I just lost a few seconds there, but it shouldn't be uh, that crucial. Also, as you can see, the people give me more time now, around 40 seconds. At the beginning I was getting like 50, 15 seconds and such. And I'm starting to get the hang of this, you know? Oh man, that mosquito is back! The problem is that, starting from level 10, I will have to make four trips to, uh, the hospital. We're going back after the old man. Good, 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 good. I like that you can start driving away before they are actually seated. But, you know, that's something that happens every time, not only when you're in the ambulance. Okay. So let's see now. Let's pick this woman up. She should give me about 15 seconds or maybe 20. Fifteen, there we go. Hey, you don't tell me to get a move on. Crap. Oh man. I'm beginning to uh, get a bit worried here. 
about my time. Come on, dude. Come on. Come on. At least I'm no longer wanted by the police. It also helps to park with your empty space close to the target so you don't waste too much time for uh, the people to go around the ambulance okay let me think we are now okay I'm going to go to the left or to the north rather Okay, get out of here, punks. Hmm. I'm getting pretty good at this driving stuff. I'm just... Oh man, I hope I didn't jinx it. Come on. Okay, three minutes. But of course, I still have to make three trips to back to the hospital. What are you doing, my good sir? You're blocking my path. And I'm an ambulance. I should have you, like, arrested or something. I know that taxi drivers are um, an odd bunch, but this is ridiculous. Oh, look at this. Taxi driver on the run. Unfortunately, we, we don't have time to uh, investigate. Normally, I would uh, sit and uh, watch. And probably even participate. Try to help one side or the other. Oh, 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 oh. So, uh, as I've mentioned, we are getting close to uh, the uh, end of this city. And I'm going to start a brand new Let's Play. And of course, of course, I'm going to also continue my, uh, my uh, unfinished Let's Plays. And I'm specifically talking about my Hitman 2 Silent Assassin Let's Play. And my uh, um, Battlefield Bad Company 2 Let's Play. Yes. So do not despair, people. The Let's Plays will be completed. Whoa! Almost uh, turned upside down with the ambulance there. Come on, dude. Gonna go after... Uh, those other two guys because it just seems to me that it would be whoa that's why we have uh, traffic signs and stuff like that to avoid these kinds of accidents come on miss hooker This is the atrium with the. Uh, what's it called? The, uh, the armor. Yes, the armor. Come on, lady. Lady. I. I hesitate to go up the stairs because I don't wanna. See? I don't wanna have an accident at level 10. Actually, I'm not even sure I have to do 12 levels. 
maybe it's only 10 levels, but as I've mentioned, since I haven't consulted a walkthrough, I, I'm not really sure. Because basically, I think that the game just lets you um, go forever and ever with the mission for as long as you have time, patience, patience and patience. <laughs> Get out of here. The sounds are going to get muffled in a, a few seconds. As... As always when it's raining for some reason. But they come back after a while. Okay, so see? Under the bridge, there's uh, that guy again. And... Now I know exactly where he is. Ooh. Wait a second, where is he? <laughs> this way. Come on. I don't want to run you over. Good. Okay, two more levels, guys. Three with this guy. But this shouldn't be too hard. Whoops. I have to take care of my ambulance now because it took quite a lot of damage. Brum, 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 brum. Okay, five thousand dollars. So I had about fifty-five or fifty-six thousand dollars when I started this. I almost didn't see that guy when I started this uh, paramedic mission, and now I have seventy-seven. And by the end of it, I will have about eighty-five, if I'm not mistaken. Actually, more than 85. Whoops. Full frontal impact. That's bad. So I'm trying to get the people who are furthest away from the uh, hospital. Oh, sh shoot. Oh, wait, we're good. I thought he was up on that bridge. Okay. Oh, again with the driving skill. Now, in um, Grand Theft Auto Vice City, you also had pizza delivery side missions. And... Uh, there you would take one of the scooters, or the Faggios. There were custom-made Faggios, which had the pizza delivery... Um, custom um, writing on them. And you would go to this little window near a res restaurant, and they would uh, give you a few pizzas. I don't remember how many. And then you would have to go uh, out into the city and uh, deliver them to hungry customers. And I actually don't remember what happened if you uh, managed to deliver all of the pizzas. I think you got extra health. But if not, somebody's going to correct me on this one. I'm sure of it. Okay. Hello, lady. But 
but this game has, uh, as far as the uh, paramedic and uh, firefighter and uh, vigilante missions go, it has, uh, well, it's better at helping the player complete the missions. Because with, uh, at least with Grand Theft Auto 3, the cars themselves weren't that durable. I mean, you would have a few accidents with them, and uh, after that, they would start puffing some smoke. I'm not talking about weed. And the next thing you knew, they would be on fire and um, they would blow up. There are also taxi. Fairs that you can do in the in the game. So what you have to do is you have to get a taxi and uh, press the button to start the missions, and then you have to uh, drive people. You have to search for people who want to use a taxi, and you have to drive them from point A to point B. That's basically it. But it's very helpful, especially if you do it in the beginning of the game. It's very helpful to get to know the places because the people will say where they want to go, and um, you will you will see on the screen. For example, I don't know, they want to go to the stadium or something, and um, you will get visual indicators to uh, where they want to be dropped off. And uh, this is quite a good way to uh, explore the city and uh, get to know it a little bit better. Maybe even uh, learn some uh, new shortcuts or who knows. And these things can help out a lot later on in the game when, you, when you're supposed to uh, do missions and you're uh, pressured. Ooh, that was close. Yeah, and you have some time limits or something. Okay. So it's this way then. One dude is up there. I'm gonna go after this guy first. It's a woman. Hurry up, lady. And we're going to the tennis court. It actually has two entrances. Which is nice. Okay, guys. One more level. And then my health will be... Woo! Off the roof! Off the charts, or something. <laughs> this is the police. With the taxi side mission, you have to uh, drive. You have to drive fifty people. Fifty. Not 15, 50 people. And, um... There is one major difference, though. You can do it on uh, different occasions, so you don't have to uh, take all 50 people and um, uh, do all of the fairs at the same time. You can, for example, do one fair today, Save the game, come back tomorrow, go back, find a cab, do 10 more fares, again save, come back tomorrow, do 20 more, more fares, and so on. Okay, guys. 
Where is, uh, there she is. Okay, so this time I have to do four full transports. This is my first one. Oh, I managed to squeeze there. It's also important when you're doing the paramedic missions to uh, find a place with uh, a flat surface like this uh, part of the city. Well, there is that hill right up ahead to the north, but I don't really go there that much. Okay, I'm going after these guys to the left, those three guys. Okay. Oh man, that mosquito again! This time the people are down. Down? Wait a second, aren't they on the beach? Yes. Oh man. Oh boy. Where is that person? Okay, come on. Oh boy. I'm getting a bit uh, nervous when I have to uh, go up and down stairs and the beach because the ground is uh, very shaky, let's say. In these, in these parts. However, I should have enough time. Whew. I think that the hardest part has passed. That guy on the beach. I was afraid I, I was going to run over him when I didn't saw him and uh, I was looking for him. I was afraid maybe he was somewhere in the bushes and... Come on, bud. Oh, I don't even want to think about it. There's our hospital. Okay. Two more trips, and I'm out of here. Luckily, my ambulance is still in pretty good shape. It's... It, it's not smoking or anything. What are you doing? Yes. What? Is he doing CJ? Three minutes again. Oh man, I gotta be careful now and not rush this. I'm starting to be hungry. I just ate a hot dog like two days ago. Okay, okay. So apparently I'm going the wrong way. Which can only mean that the guy is over here. Yeah. Gonna get one more guy. You there! Oh shoot. I thought that guy was going to run over my patient. Oh, three minutes and a half. Okay, so we are definitely go do doing very well on time. And I also have spotted the remaining um, people left to uh, rescue. What you just heard there was uh, CJ losing, uh, losing fat. 
because he hasn't eaten in a couple of days. I'm not entirely sure if... Okay, I'll go this way. I'm not entirely sure if um, the game lets you know when you have completed the required... the required amount of levels in order to pass the paramedic missions. But I, as I've mentioned, I, I, I do think it's 12. Okay. Wait a second. There was one... Oh, okay. So maybe that guy got hit or something? Because... Uh, this guy was definitely not here. He was not the one who I had to rescue. Okay, guys. Oh boy, can you just feel the excitement? Take a look at my health bar. Whoa, 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 whoa. Gotta take it easy. And... Yes! Yes! Wait a second. <laughs> my health bar hasn't increased. Oh man. Oh boy. Oh well. I'm a happy camper. I have completed the paramedic missions. Or the mission. Oh. Hold it. This. This is something I need. Good. My wanted level hasn't increased. Okay, wait, 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 CJ, don't, don't lose your fat. Okay, let's go uh, grab a snack and uh, then get some shut eye. Shut up, Mr. Police Officer. Listen, lady. What does Sir desire? The chicken! Oh, you don't have any. Well, then, give me... Give me... This one. Yes. Have a wonderful day. It's night, but thank you. Okay. Now. Let's see, where should I go? I'm gonna go, oh yeah, 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 I'm gonna go on the beach. My house on the beach. Oh. Oops, <laughs> I thought this was, this was a, a ramp. Yo, homies. Okay, now we're doing it. Whoa, yeah. And I forgot about that car. I think it's the one I tuned up. Ah. Uh. 